when it comes to making Kongs and lick mats, there really isn't a set rule for how to do it. You can really vary it however you would like, but for this video, I thought it would be a great idea to show you guys what I do when I'm filling Kongs and lick mats. So for today, I have some Kongs and then whatever extras, I have a couple of different lick mats. We'll see how much extras I have but um, I'll try to make sure to save some so we can at least make one lick mat. Um, I have different size Kongs, let me show you. I think this one is the large Kong brand um, Kong. And then I think this is also a large and then this is an extra large. I give these to my, um, my German Shepherd, he's 100 pounds, he gets a little bit more. Um, and then the, uh, these two go to my slightly smaller breeds. Um, one of them is a mixed breed. He's about 50 pounds. And then the other one is about 40-ish pounds. And then what I'm going to use today for my lick mats are some Stella and Chewy Fresh Made, um, human grade, whole foods, gently cooked food. I had these thawing in my refrigerator for the past couple days. I have both beefy licious. See if you can read that. It's probably backwards, but it's okay. And then I have meat of Palooza. So this is just what I'm using today. Some days I use um, I use other things like what is the one I use most frequently? What is that milk? Um, man, I just had a complete brain fart. One that I use a lot is Honest Kitchen. I'm going to grab a knife. Um, the Honest Kitchen, my dogs really, really like. Um, and the, it's real easy to make. It's a dehydrated food. And um, you just rehydrate it with warm water. I use a spoon and put it into the, um, the Kongs and then freeze them. Literally exactly how I'll be doing today. And so I'm just going to cut this open. And all of my dogs love when I make Kongs because they think they're getting some immediately. So that's why I'm being hounded. You can see Apollo's little nose here. And I have Mufasa here, even though you can't really see him. And then I have the other two who are behind me. So I will get this open. I will wash those after I'm done. And then I will just use my spoon. The other thing I really, really like, I didn't have these until I think like last year. I got them mostly for Christmas. Um, but they are basically these Kong holders. You can get them on Amazon for sure. You can get them on Etsy as well. I think they're just 3D printed and they fit all kinds of Kongs. So the same one fits like this small one with the tiny hole. Goes right on and it holds it. So you don't have to hold it. And then none of the liquid seeps out either. So I really like it for that reason. But it also goes on to the larger ones. And the same ones even fit the extra large. So I really like it that it fits all the different sizes. All right. And real simple. We're just going to start filling these up. I try to do this as cleanly as possible. But you know, things are going to fall. They're already falling on my hand. So I um, do my best and then I make sure I clean up really well afterwards um, just to make sure that we are okay. I washed my hands before I started this video um, and, and they are safe as well, especially when using raw food. Um, I'm less, I take less precautions when I use kibble. Um, when I use kibble, I typically just, um, just fill it with kibble and then coat the top with like a peanut butter or something like that. Um, just so that it's slightly harder. I mean, the kibble is looser. So once I get past the peanut butter, um, top, then it pretty much is the kibble just falls out even if you freeze it. So that's why I try to stay away from the kibble, but in a pinch, it makes it real fast to, um, to whip up some Kongs. So I just fill it just about to the top and then I will put these in the freezer and move on to the next one. It's really, really easy. 
I probably won't go through filling all of these with you guys, but I just wanted to show you how I do it and how easy it is for you to be able to do it as well. Especially if you only have one dog, you don't have to, you know, I have nine Kongs here, but you don't need near that many <laughs> to be able to do this if you only have one dog or even two dogs. I mean, I have four in my house, so I go through quite a bit more than most your average people. All right, and I'm just, if I can, I try to use it, use the spoon mostly. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it gets a little messy. And then I will fill this large Kong, and then we can go ahead and make a lick mat. These are really, really easy to do. Sometimes I will have a, um, I'll bring my phone in here and have a TV show playing or a movie playing, or I'll, um, Play some music and just listen to music while I do it. Something pretty, pretty easy, and I can do, you know, something else in the background, kind of. I try to do this about once a week for my dogs. Sometimes depends on the amount of freezer space I have. Um, sometimes I do less. Sometimes I'm able to do more. I just also, it also depends on how much I have um thawed um if i am using you know i only have two um two packs i think these are about a pound a piece 16 ounces so yeah it's about a pound um and so sometimes you know if i'm filling up a bunch of the big kongs the really big ones that i'm doing right now then i not able to make quite as much and then if I'm doing a bunch of the smaller ones that I have, like the these ones, the Kong brands, then I'm able to do a little bit more. So it really all depends. Um, I try to keep, I have so many Kongs, not going to lie. Um, I think I have about, I don't know, because I also have some off-brand ones too that I got from like BarkBox. Um, those are really, really good. Not necessarily for hard chewers. Like my labs will tear this up. Um, my service dogs will definitely tear this this one and even the orange one apart. So she is only allowed to have the Kong brand ones because I don't want her, you know, destroying the Kongs that I have. And you can see this lick mat has been chewed a little bit, probably from one of my labs. Um, so with the lick mat, again, it's super, super easy. I will just plop some in there and then I will use a spoon to kind of try and push the um the food into the little grooves and kind of smooth it out and you can give these to your dogs just like the kongs either frozen or um thawed i guess is how you would say it um i noticed that the thawed is actually a little bit dif more difficult for my dogs than the frozen because the frozen they figured out they can just once it's frozen together they can just pop it out real quick and real easy um i i noticed that when i use the like gently cooked or anything like that it's harder to get it to stick which also means it's harder for it to i guess be more difficult to use so i typically don't use the gently cooked for um lick mats but this is basically it. I just pushed, used the back of the spoon and pushed around the edges and in the middle as, be as best I could. And then I'll go ahead and put these in the freezer. Um, let them freeze for about, I don't know, 24 hours, sometimes less, sometimes more, depending on when I need to use them. And that's it. We went ahead and made three Kongs and a lick mat. If you only have one dog, 10 minutes, not too bad. All right, guys, if you have any questions or anything, drop a comment down below. Remember, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Have a great day, guys. Keep on training.